Hi, and welcome to this video demonstration on configuring ground control sphere with high-end interfaces for immersive mixing. Ground control sphere is an all-in-one virtual control panel that can receive multiple sets of inputs from different applications. It works both for stereo and multi-channel setups and is compatible with any audio interface. For this demonstration, we're using the red 16 line by Focusrite. But as you'll learn, Ground Control Sphere works with any multi-channel audio interface. Let's have a look. For starters, go to Settings and choose Master Clock and Sample Rate. From here, select your desired audio interface. In this case, we're using the red 16 line. Set the sample rate to 48 kilohertz. And a master clock indication will show up on the bottom of the panel, as well as a confirmation of the sample rate. The output section offers different output options, including main, alt 1, alt 2, alt 3, and C through E. Click the gear icon next to main and select the red 16 line. You have different multi channel formats. For this example, we're going to use the 7.1.4. Notice how the channels automatically assign themselves in numerical order, starting at 1, ending at 12. The outputs of these channels are automatically assigned to the line outputs of the interface, starting in channel 1 and ending in channel 12, which we'll see meters in a minute. Additionally, you can use ground control sphere for base management, where you can set the high pass filter high pass slope, low pass filter, and low pass slope for each channel, which is extremely important for setting up a Dolby Atmos mixing room. Additionally, you can apply a delay per channel because in a multi-channel, multi-speaker room, you want to ensure that all the speakers are time aligned. You can add an EQ plugin of your choice and EQ each channel. Let's choose Pro Q3. From here, I can apply filters, different EQ bands for room correction per channel. And that will be stored with the application. This is one of the most powerful things about Ground Control Sphere. The ability to use any high-end audio interface and apply room correction, bass management, and time alignment here in this application. Now that the output is configured accordingly, let's go to our input section. In the input section, you have A through H. And these inputs can be assigned from virtual sound cards, from your computer audio, from different DAWs and applications. Let's have a look. Input A is using the Sphere 16 Mon, which is a virtual sound card. So anything that I play from Apple Music that's been mixed and delivered in Dolby Atmos will show up here as a multi-channel track. Let's hit play, and there it is my multi-channel source being fed by Apple Music is going to my multi-channel audio interface, which is here on the main output. And you'll see that the meters are almost identical. The output meters are always gonna look a little bit differently based on the settings that you have configured here with the room tuning, with the bass management, and the trim controls. Let's have a look on setting up Studio One with Ground Control Sphere. Studio One version 6.5 is fully compatible with Dolby Atmos mixing. In the audio setup, I'll select Sphere 32 Mon for the virtual playback. And in the audio setup, I'll go to General and select Mode Dolby Atmos. The bed format can stay the same, which is 712, and the output format can be 714. Let's hit play. We got an immersive mix going on in Studio One, now let's jump into Ground Control Sphere. Input B is receiving audio from Sphere 32 Mon, which is the same virtual sound card that we're using for Studio One. And all the multi-channels are displayed here. Let's enable that as an input. And that's coming out of the focus right red 16 line. Okay, lastly, let's feed audio from the Dolby Renderer. Let's launch the preferences and assign the audio output device to Sphere 64 Mon. Click Accept. I have a Dolby Atmos master file loaded here. Click Play. And now let's jump back into Sphere. 
Input C is receiving its audio from Sphere 64 Mon, it's showing up in the meters, and the output is being routed to the focus right red 16 line. You can verify this by going to the red 16 line control panel, and you'll see all the line outputs working there. You can also see this on the IO control metering. Now there's one more thing to do between the renderer, ground control sphere, and the red 16 line to monitor the binaural mix through the headphone jack. Let me show you. Let's jump back into the Dolby renderer, hit Command R, and you'll see that the binaural live mix is being fed out of channels 13 and 14. We'll jump to ground control sphere, select input D, and assign sphere 64 mon 13 and 14 to feed this input. Additionally, you want to send this to QA. You don't want to hear the binaural mix through speakers. It's going to sound facey, it's going to sound weird. You only want to monitor this through the headphone jack of the audio interface. Now, this is a virtual QA. Now, we have to assign that to our audio interface. So under QA, we're going to select red 16 line. And we know that channels 1 through 12 are already being taken up for the speaker playback. So we want to choose the next available output, which will be playback 1314. Let's jump to the red net control, go to output routing, and select playback 1314. You'll see the meters working in the headphone jack here and here. This allows you to use the first 12 outputs, which are dedicated to the speaker outputs for our 7.1.4 setup but then assign a playback 13 and 14. Route that to the headphone jack, which is being fed from the binaural mix. Being able to monitor the binaural mix on headphones and the immersive mix in the speaker setup is extremely important to ensure that your mixes translate. Additionally, you can use the monitor control section of ground control sphere. Or if you have the Focusrite Red Net R1, you can use that instead. But if you don't, the ground control sphere works on Yukon devices, it works on Stream Deck devices, and look out for future information on compatibility with iOS devices. With ground control sphere, any home studio can be converted from stereo to an immersive speaker playback system. And due to its interactive interface, you can apply bass management, time alignment, and room correction directly from the application. For more information on Red 16 Line, be sure to visit focusrite.com. And for information on Ground Control Sphere, be sure to visit gingeraudio.com. Thank you so much for watching.